Hello everybody, this is Rocio Mireles again, and I am here to show you my first rainbow eye look. It's quite a simple one, but I hope you like it. As always, I begin priming my eyes, and this time I am using the Ulta brand. I will begin by using a white chubby stick, and I am going to apply it onto my lids. By using my fingers, I am giving it the heat of my body, which will help it melt into my lids. Okay, so I'm going to begin my rainbow eye look with the color red. The rainbow is Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So, as I said, we're going to start with the red. And you can use any brand that I like. I The one I'm using right now is really great because it has no fallout at all. The colors are incredible. So basically, you just take a brush, a flat brush preferably, or a tiny fluffy one, and put it in the corner of your eye. Then I'm going to use a cream color or a bone color, whatever you want to call it, and put it on the crease. I sort of took the color up above my crease a little bit. Um, I have a hooded eye, so um, it's really hard for me to make my eye looks look incredible you know like other people but anyway I work with my eyes it's what I have it's what I have to do so with the other side of the same brush I dipped the brush into the orange color and I'm tapping it on and I take it again above my Greek crease um, and I take a fluffy brush with the cream color and sort of blend it out over my crease and I do the same thing with every single color. I change my brushes as I need to change them because, you know, every color is completely different. So it's going to look muddy if you keep using the same brushes. So I used about three different brushes for this look. Um, the My blending brush, I used the same one. Um, it didn't really matter because I'm using a, like a really light almost white color to blend it out. The blue and violet colors were the hardest ones for uh, me to place on my lid so I had to keep adding layers and layers. Um, it's just the way the shadows are made, the pigment, so you just have to keep working at it. And here I'm just showing you the Smashbox uh, tiny palette that I used and I took now a darker taupey color and I'm applying it over my crease just to blend everything out and make uh, my crease look a little bit deeper and I do the same with both sides. I do keep adding layers and layers of color on both eyes so I keep working back and forth between the blending and adding color to my eyes. As you can see it took me a long time a really long time but um, I tried to shorten it for you I made uh, the video you know double time but you know as with any eyeshadow look that you do you have to take your time and just be patient so to begin with the face I am going to prime it with this awesome elf illuminator um, primer it's got like glitter or something I don't know it's amazing I love it can't really tell that much on camera but in person it's incredible so apply your primer and prep your face <laughs> Uh, 
Um, if you haven't noticed from my other videos, I like using the Naked Skin One and Done, um, I don't know, BB cream, I guess you would call it, and uh, the Revlon Illuminator. I mix it together, and I actually mix some more of the e.l.f. illuminator i just love mixing all of that stuff it looks amazing on your face um this foundation doesn't have that much coverage at all um so i like to use it on a day-to-day -day basis or just to explore like i'm doing right now i am using the real techniques um sponge i like it because it's very soft but it does absorb a lot of product um so anyway for my next step, I am using this lip enhancer called Lakshon. I'm not sure, but anyway, like the name says, it, enhance, it enhances your lips. So I'm thinking it makes them look a little bit bigger. I don't know, and I'm never going to find out because I don't use it enough like they tell you to use it. But anyway, moving on to concealer, um, I apply my Maybelline concealer in uh, the lightest color, I believe. I don't remember the name right now. So even though I always um, apply concealer with my finger, I decided to try the sponge this time to see how it worked out. It actually wasn't bad at all. Um, I thought about doing it on the other eye, but then I decided to try with my finger and compare the both of them to see which one looked better. Uh, but honestly, there wasn't much of a difference. To set uh, my concealer, I used a Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I love using this one because it really um, brightens my face and of course it sets really well. For my waterline, I'm using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. On my top waterline, I am using um, just a drugstore eye pencil it's uh, from Claire's I think anyone will work um, if you want you can hit it heat it up with your fingers um, but anything is good as far as bronzer I'm using the hula bronzer which I absolutely love and if you've seen other videos of mine um, you know I always bronze up um, the halls of my cheeks the sides of my forehead, uh, my jawline, um, the sides of my nose, and I always blend it out as much as I can. As always, I am doing my brows with Benefits Cabral. After I'm done, I set them with Maybelline New York's Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. As far as blush, um, for the first time I am trying Cargo's Water Resistant Blush and it's in the shade Los Cabos and it's very orangey and very pigmented so if you use this make sure you only use a little tiny bit because otherwise you're gonna look a little bit crazy. Of course, um, curl your lashes, uh, apply mascara. Before applying mascara, I am uh, applying a BH Cosmetics glitter. I can't remember the name of this one, but they have a range of very beautiful ones and they work very well, so um, go check it out. Um, again, using the Better Than Sex mascara, it's my all time favorite. Mm -hmm. 
for highlighter, I am using the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette. It's my all-time favorite highlighter right now. It's absolutely beautiful. The color, the color and the shimmer and everything is just so 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 freaking beautiful. You need to buy it and this is not an ad. I just love it that much. <music> For lips, I will be using this BH Cosmetics New Lips to Go palette that I received free uh, with my order of the highlights. Um, I really like the colors. They're very creamy and they have good uh, payoff. Um, it wasn't really working on my lips uh, because I had the lip enhancer on and it's really oily so it wasn't really mixing and I didn't take it off so it wasn't perfect but I mixed a couple of the colors together and it ended up looking really nice. I decided to top it with a lipstick from Cargo Cosmetics and it is in the shade Chelsea. Finally as always setting spray and you're done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 